Hi, you guys. <laughs> what was that? Hi, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get a haircut right now, and I figured that I would have talked to you guys for a little while in between while I'm making my way over there. So, I will let you guys know that this video is about Brittany Dawn, and Brittany Dawn has recently been going on an absolute just rant. I, I think it's even way more than a rant, to be honest. But she's been sitting on Instagram talking about how she has so many people that have been coming after her for four years, and now it's her time to speak up, and it's her time to come against the trolls, and it's her time to tell her truth, and blah, 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 blah. All of the things that most YouTubers say when they're addressing their trolls. Oh, you guys are after me. Oh, you're a bunch of haters. Oh, you're, you know, stalking me. We, we know that stalking has been a popular word as of lately, especially on my channel, because I'm so sick and tired of these influencers saying that they're being stalked when it's literally just people that don't like them and happen to say, hey, I don't like you. There's a lot of YouTubers that I don't like, and I sometimes address it and sometimes I don't. Um, it, it shouldn't be surprising that some YouTubers don't like each other. And if you don't like me, then why would I like you? What kind of sense would that even make? But basically, Brittany Dawn has been going on and on and on about these haters and how now it's her turn to stand up against the cyber bullies and it's, you know, everyone's gonna get their payback and the wrath of Satan and all of the things. First of all, I want to address Reddit because Brittany Dawn has a subreddit. I've seen some posts over there. I've included some posts from the Reddit on my own videos because I think some of them make a lot of sense. And there are people over there that have either been scammed by her or insulted by her or, um, you know, misled by some of the things that she says. I don't think that Reddit as a whole is bad. Do I think a lot of toxic people hang out on Reddit? I do. But as far as saying all of Reddit is just a bunch of trolls, I don't really think that that's a fair way to describe what goes on on Reddit, my opinion. I think that Reddit is a little bit of a mix of people who are, have been genuinely like negatively impacted by whoever the influencer or YouTuber is. And there are some people that hang out on Reddit that simply hate the person being discussed. But that's the internet as a whole. That is the internet um, just existing, okay? It's, it's a mixed bag of some people who make sense and some people who don't make sense. But what I've seen on her Reddit is some comments that I wouldn't make myself but there are a lot of good conversations happening over on her Reddit that I've seen myself. Talking about, um, you know, why her promoting her religion and using her religion as a shield is a bad thing. Why misleading people in the fitness industry like she did is a really bad thing. Taking advantage of people who have body dysmorphia issues is a bad thing. Talking about how she has very, very crap morals that she has put on display and people are having an open conversation about it. So as far as her Reddit specifically, I'm not going to say that it's a bunch of trolls. Do I think that some trolls hang out on there? I do, but I don't think that that is even 20% of all of the people that hang out on her Reddit. It's a very small percentage of people that I would consider trolling. So as, as far as her really, really coming after her haters, I do think that she is focusing on those few commenters that go to her reddit and say things that are not nice and they're not things that i would say personally about her but she's choosing to focus on those few people instead of all of the people who supported her for a really long time and were wronged by her she's zoning in on these few people and really giving them way more attention than they deserve when it comes to these people who are actually trolls on the internet whether they have channels or not, whether they're just leaving comments 
or they choose to make videos, whatever they choose to do, those people are not worth the energy, in my opinion. They're not worth going against and having a rebuttal and trying to make sense of things that are senseless because for the most part, if someone really is a troll, no matter what you do, it will be wrong. So there's really no point in saying, oh, well, I said this for this reason, and then they can give a rebuttal, and then you can have a two-way conversation. You could literally delete your entire channel, and the troll would still say, oh, well, they're just a coward, but I deleted everything, and you hate me, so you wanted me to go away. I deleted everything, and now you're still dragging my name. So it's just a battle that you're not going to win ever, and that's my opinion on it. When it comes to what else Bernie Don has been talking about, I don't believe that she has been cyberbullied. I don't. There are some words that she decides to use quite often. And one of those words is cyberbullying. One of those words is slander. And in between those two, that is pretty much what she veils her criticism as. It's slander and cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is something super, super serious. The same with stalking. And if you are being cyberbullied, you don't want to give that person attention publicly. If it is actually cyberbullying and you have a leg to stand on, you should be working with authorities and your attorney to handle it offline not making videos, not shining a light on them, not saying, oh, blah, 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 cyberbullying me. Work with the authorities. Find out who it is, since Brittany Dawn wants to constantly say how you can't hide behind a screen name, and I agree with her on that. But why don't you handle it offline? Because you're already giving them way too much attention. And if trolls love one thing, it's a reaction. It's the attention that they might get from whoever it is that they're talking about. Now, Miss Brittany Dawn also decided that she was going to go ahead and shout out Fox News. Here's how I feel about mainstream media. I don't watch a ton of mainstream media. I'll be real honest. I take it in doses because mainstream media is, you know, it's kind of like a really obnoxious YouTuber who constantly uses clickbait. It's constantly a, a, an article title to get you to click on it. It's a lot of misleading and uh, fear mongering. So I take my mainstream media in small doses. And I also closely consider which source it is that I'm looking at. But that being said, she went ahead and wanted to thank Fox News for giving an unbiased article on her on their website. And I read the article and I think that they went easy on her. And I think that they could have been a lot more blunt about the bad things that she has done. But they chose to kind of softball her pretty much. And that's why she wanted to give them her appreciation. Thank you, Fox News, for doing this lovely article that was, quote, you know, unbiased, whatever. The word on the street is that Fox News wrote an article about me this morning. Fox News. And I have my followers to thank. You guys found it and you sent it to me and I clicked on it and I was like, whoa, what is this? And anyways, the reason I'm addressing Fox News and not any of the other articles out there, because they're out there and they're easy to find, is this reason right here. Finally, a fair article was written about me. It has been four years. Finally, a fair article was written about me. Sure, they addressed the lawsuit and the trial and all of that. And again, I will talk about that when I can. I can't talk about it when I'm in the thick of it because anything I say could be used against me, right? Anyone that's been through a lawsuit knows that. But they also, they also touched on the fact that I have lived through absolute hell and terror these last four years of my life from cancel culture and cyberbullying. They didn't just share a one-sided opinion. They didn't even take a stance. They had a very neutral territory and they shared the truth to my side of the story, finally.
It just so happens to be that there are a lot of media requests in my inbox right now. And I'm not talking about my DMs, I'm talking about my emails. News reporters, news stations, journalists, all wanting my exclusive interview, whatever that is. So Fox News, this is me saying, I will happily come on Fox News and chit chat with you guys about cyberbullying, about cancel culture that is literally becoming one of my most passionate things to talk about. Um, and about my lawsuit and my trial, when that's over with and I can speak on that, I will happily give you guys my exclusive interview, you and you alone. Um, if you want that, you know where to find me and all the other news stations can kick rocks. With her trial, her trial has been um, put off indefinitely and there was a tweet which I will throw up, you guys can pause to read. But essentially, it stated that there are 400 other cases that need to be reviewed before Brittany Dawn's lawsuit will be put back into back into a schedule, basically. So we don't know if that will be a year. We don't know if that will be a year and a half. So that really sucks for the people that were wronged by her and scammed by her, in my opinion. But she wanted to remind everybody how you know, she can't talk about the lawsuit because it's not um, gone through the court system yet and all of that good stuff. That's fine. I don't think that anybody was expecting her to dissect her open lawsuit. I think that people were more, um, they were more or less happy that she was actually being held accountable for the people that she had scammed. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't see a lot of people saying, Brittany Dawn needs to talk about her lawsuit and tell us everything that's going on. I didn't see a whole lot of that. If you guys did, obviously, sound off in the comments down below. I just saw a lot of people reacting to what was being said. A lot of people just making the very obvious point that she was being held accountable. It was a good thing. Let's talk about what's kind of, you know, unfolding publicly and then move on. One thing that Bernie Dawn did was she did offer Fox News a, um, an interview. So she says that once her lawsuit is done, she would love to come to Fox News, even though she has a lot of other media outlets in her email inbox right now, she's choosing to give Fox News her exclusive interview. She wants to talk about her lawsuit and everything else, including cyber stalking and bullying and slander and all of the things that she has been, you know, allegedly going through because that's now her passion. That is her passion. So she did give them that invitation once her case is done, that she will go on to Fox News. Am I surprised? No. They are the media source and the media outlet that softballed the shit out of her. So she's giving them an invite. I don't even know if it's true that she has a bunch of other media, sor media outlets in her inbox because this goes back to the fact that influencers are damn liars. And once you are known as a liar, I'm gonna question everything that you say. But I did look up out of my own curiosity, I wanted to look at the stalking laws in the state of Texas. And based on what I saw, just as someone who is not an attorney, I don't work in law or anything like that, my understanding is that unless Brittany Dawn has some solid proof that she is actively being stalked, she's not going to get very far with that because they also consider is the could the victim be possibly overreacting so they'll you know obviously look at it from all sides um i i don't think she is a stalker and as far as getting hateful comments on reddit welcome to the internet these influencers, I don't know why they can't understand. If you're going to be online, it is better if you just wire it into your brain to ignore the few people that are actually trolls. Again, the majority is not trolls. 
we've had that conversation. But why not just ignore it? Get it in your mind. It's only going to be a small handful of people. Ignore them and move on. I get really mean comments sometimes and they go to my health for review, which I don't look at very often at all. But when I see those comments, I don't highlight them or showcase them. I just block the people from my channel. Hi guys, it's me. I completely forgot to finish out this vlog, but I still wanted to post it. So I will do a part two with a little bit of an update and some additional thoughts, but I still wanted to post this for you guys. So either way, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.